Hey, uh, I have it is. Yeah. So you know that our solar system has eight planets? Uh, yeah. And they are over the star? Do you think I don't know this or something? I know you know. But since it's possible for planets to orbit stars, is it possible for planets to not orbit stars? Yeah, it is possible. It happens all the time. It does? Yup. And these planets that don't orbit stars are called rogue planets, because they just rub them around without any gravitational pull to hold on to. But how did these rogue planets manage to escape their stars and just roam? Hey guys, I'm the Earth. And Luna. And we have a very important announcement for you. Is it really that important? Wait, hold on. That's not in the script, Luna. Ahem. We have some very important news to tell you. If you want to see more cool videos like these in the future, then consider subscribing to our channel as it motivates us to make more videos for you. And if you want to share a video idea with us, then go to our Discord server, link in our bio, to share your video ideas with us, and in the future, maybe we will do them. So, yeah, that's the ad. Goodbye, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the episode. These rogue planets most likely were able to escape their solar systems due to them being possibly ejected out of their solar systems because they are very unstable. Later on, these planets traveled so far into space that they no longer had a star to hold on to and became rogue planets. So they were able to escape their solar systems due to gravitational disturbances causing them to be ejected. Then they roamed alone in space and became rogue planets? Exactly. It's kind of sad to think about. Being ejected from your home, never to return, and wandering in darkness for eternity. Yeah, but thankfully that will happen to us, right? Well, according to the laws of gravity, there is a chance that we could be thrown out of the solar system and be forced to wander in eternal darkness forever. Then we would remain completely isolated from any form of social and physical interaction. And eventually, we will lose our sanity! Stop! You're scaring me! It's the truth, Enceladus.